into fjords, Vikings, blonde hair, the midnight sun, and a rich seafaring heritage dating back centuries. To explore this unique world, we flew into Oslo and then made connections to Christian Sand. We joined Phil Friedman and Karen Josephson as they chartered a boat from Sail Scandinavia and embarked on an odyssey to rediscover Karen's ancestral roots buried deep in the Norwegian soil. Now only months since the fall of the communist government, Tristan is back in Romania helping to make his treacherous European passage accessible to future yachtsmen. And as you will see, his return has more than a chair of irony. Since we were last together with Sailing Quarterly in the Caribbean, we are now here in Ireland cruising the southwest coast with Sailing Quarterly. The southwest coast of Ireland has only been available to the bareboat charter in recent years. And the charter season in Ireland runs from April right straight through to the end of September. The weather, of course, in Ireland is not as stable as the Caribbean. You can run into times where you will be harbor bound, but in every little Irish village, you'll find yourself a charming pub. You'll be able to get some nice meals ashore. You can explore the countryside. The rhythms of life are simply different here than what we're used to back home. I think that's perhaps the most striking thing. That and the incredible blue water of the Aegean, of course. We're all quite anxious to get aboard our assigned boats and familiarize ourselves with the sails, the rigging, and so on. Our first destination after leaving Athens is Caia, in the Cyclades chain of islands. Because the harbors in the Greek islands are so tiny, the only way to fit all the boats in is to adopt Mediterranean mooring techniques. The best part of Mediterranean mooring is the moment you tie up, when you really become part of the village. You've got the shops, the tavernas, and the grocery store, and the pastry store, literally at your doorstep. Yugoslavia is a warm, friendly Mediterranean country. Walking to village streets is like traveling through time. Everywhere, fragments of ancient culture remain. Basking in the balmy Mediterranean climate, we would cruise the coast of Yugoslavia through the Dalmatian Islands. Our hosts were Sunsail, the major charter company in the area. Up to six boats will sail in a convoy from one town to another. They'll maybe race against each other from one harbour to the next. The standard weather pattern out here is for it to be very light or calm in the morning. And then the wind will pick up during the afternoon the same way as you get a sea breeze back home picking up in the afternoon. To explore Turkey, we've joined Karen and Phil Friedman the charter guest aboard a crude charter with Peter and Val Bennett on their 50-foot catch, Alka Frolic. This particular part of the uh, Turkish coast is in the Aegean Sea. We're set off from Marmaris, head down to Ekinçek, then Ekinçek into Fethiye Bay, over to Fethiye itself, and then around a couple of bays and through to Gocek. That's basically the plan. Turkey is a very interesting country to go cruising in. It has so many different things to offer people of varied taste and the sailing is quite good. 